Kepler 442b by Liam Mott. What would happen if all of a sudden Earth became uninhabitable? Where would we go? How would we survive? Lately, NASA has been finding planets similar to Earth that have the possibility of sustaining life. One of these exoplanets is Kepler 442b. This planet was found on January 6, 2015 by NASA's Kepler facility. This planet was discovered using the transit method. This method is when a planet passes in between a star and Earth, which causes the light from the star to dim. They can measure this brightness dip to determine certain characteristics about the star and the planet. Kepler 442b is a super-Earth, meaning it has a mass and a radius greater than Earth's, but smaller than those of the ice giants, such as Uranus and Neptune. It is also found within the habitable zone. This zone is the range from which a planet can support liquid water. Since all living things need water, it has been deemed the habitable zone. By using the transit method, we are able to determine some characteristics about the exoplanet. The radius of the planet is about 1.34 times that of Earth's. The mass of the planet is still unknown. The orbital period of the planet is about 112.3 days. This is a little less than one-third of Earth's. This exoplanet orbits the star Kepler-442, which is a red dwarf planet. Kepler-442b is the only planet orbiting around the star. This solar system is about 1,115 light years away from Earth. This star is much cooler than that of our sun. Kepler-442 has an effective temperature of 4,402 Kelvin, which is much less compared to the sun's 5,777 Kelvin. The size of the star is also much smaller compared to that of the suns. Kepler-442 has a stellar mass of 0.609 and a stellar radius of 0.598. This means that this star is about half the total size and weight of our star. The star also has a relatively low metallicity of negative 0.37. The star also has an apparent magnitude of 15.3, meaning it can't be seen by the naked eye. The star is also 2.9 billion years old. We are also given the radius of Kepler 442b's orbit, or semi-major axis, around Kepler 442. We are given that it's about 0.409 AU, or about 6.12 times 10 to the 10th meters. This is a similar distance from Mercury to the Sun. We can then use this value to determine the orbital velocity of Kepler 442b. We have the equation v squared equals gm over r, with g being the universal gravitational constant, or 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11th, m being the mass of Kepler 442, and r being the semi-major axis of Kepler 442b. We can use this to solve for the orbital velocity, which is about 36,300 meters per second. Kepler 442b is located in the Goldilocks zone. However, this doesn't mean that it can necessarily sustain life. There are certain things we can't necessarily determine with the planet, which can make it uninhabitable. For example, it is very difficult to determine anything about the atmosphere of this potentially rocky world. However, the average surface temperature is predicted to be around 260 Kelvin, or about 8 degrees Fahrenheit. This temperature can still sustain life. If there is more carbon dioxide in the atmosphere than expected, then we can expect the greenhouse effect to give us a higher surface temperature than what we predicted. There is also the continuous threat of tidal locking. Since these red dwarf plants are smaller, the habitable zone is much closer to the planet. This is seen where Kepler 442b is about the same distance from Kepler 442 as Mercury is from the Sun. However, they are both still in their respective habitable zones. However, this increases the chances of tidal locking. Tidal locking is when only one side of the planet ever faces the sun. This occurs in order to maintain the liquid water at the surface. This would only decrease the chances of habitability. That's because life would be limited to a ring-like area known as the Terminator, where the star is always on the horizon. There would also be a constant wind. This would have to be adapted to, such as plants anchoring into soil and sprouting long, flexible leaves.
Finally, the planet has a gravitational force stronger than Earth's. Kepler 442b's gravitational force is about 30% greater than that of Earth's. This will be a drastic change, but is still survivable. Overall, this planet does have a high possibility to sustain life. The only thing that would limit us from going to Kepler 442b would be the distance. Even traveling at the speed of light, it would take us over 1100 years. With current technology, this is impossible to take place. However, if anything does end up happening to Earth in the future, there is the possibility that we do start the trek to Kepler 442b in hopes of continuing the human race.